Getting started with Watson Studio is fast, easy, and free. You have massive computing power at your disposal to find insights in your company's data or to build models to find the best scenes in movies. This is a place where your imagination is truly the limit. So let's get started by signing up for IBM Cloud and the Watson Studio platform. As you can see here on my screen, I have a URL, ibm.biz forward slash accelerate dash AI. Again, that's ibm.biz forward slash accelerate dash AI. Let me go ahead and go to that URL now. And this takes me to a screen or a, a page for registering for a free IBM account, account with no time restriction. Go ahead and enter my email address here. Enter my first name and my last name. Work for IBM. And I'll enter in a complex password. And create an account. Resolve the CAPTCHA. Okay, so to complete my registration, I need to verify my email address. Just pop over to my email here. And wait for that uh, complete registration email to come in. And here we are. I'm just going to confirm my account. And I'll go ahead and log in. Okay, so I have logged into the IBM Cloud dashboard here. And this is uh, really kind of a uh, central place to see all the services, all the storage, everything that you're doing with IBM Cloud. And when you first log in, you see step-by-step uh, -step tutorials for using Watson services, Internet of Things, mobile DevOps, and how to deploy apps onto Cloud Foundry. Well, here on the left-hand side, you have a, a hamburger menu with more options. If I wanted to create container services, if I wanted to create infrastructure services such as virtual machines, I can work with VMware. Also have information for or a, a way to create blockchain, uh, functions as a service, web apps, Watson security, et cetera. But I know what I'm looking for, which is Watson Studio. And I'm just going to go here into the catalog, which is up on the right-hand side. And I'll scroll down to the Watson platform. And here on the Watson platform, I see all the different Watson services that are available to me. And I'll select Watson Studio. And what this brings up is a, a screen that goes through and shows what is Watson Studio and where it's going to be running at within my IBM Cloud environment. Uh, the default region is US South. Again, my organization or my organization is based off of the email address I registered with. And I have to choose a space. Uh, by default, a space is created for my account. These are like your workspaces. I am currently in development mode. Uh, so I have a dev workspace created for me by default. But if I was moving my applications into production, I might separate my dev environment, work environment from my production work environment and create a production space. So as I scroll down here, I see there are uh, multiple different pricing plans for Watson Studio. And since I'm using the 
free version of IBM Cloud where I don't have to enter any credit card information, I'll just go ahead and select the light plan, which is also free. Okay, so it's created an instance of the Watson Studio environment, and I'll just go ahead and click Get Started. Watson Studio is like a software as a service running on top of IBM Cloud. That is software, a web-based IDE for machine learning, deep learning, data science. All right, it's asking me uh, to select my organization and space. Just going to go ahead and accept the default. And it is initializing my environment, so I'll go ahead and select Get Started. So this is your dashboard for Watson Studio. Here you have the option to create new projects. This is a central place for your team to collaborate and organize resources such as data assets, notebooks, and models that you build. You can also refine data using the data refinery and perform transformations on your data using a visual editor. If I wanted to create a standalone notebook, I could just create a new Jupyter notebook here. If I was doing deep learning and wanted to train my machine learning model using GPU accelerated hardware, I could get started with deep learning here. New model or flows. This is a, a visual model building tool, a drag and drop tool for designing and building machine learning models. There's also new model, which is a automated tool for building training and evaluating machine learning models. This is a tool we will use when predicting employee attrition. And you also have the option of a new stream flow if you're working with streaming data within your machine learning model. So as I scroll down here, I currently don't have any projects, but this would show a list of all the projects uh, associated with my account. Watson services, such as Watson visual recognition, would show up here and community. I think one of the most important parts of Watson Studio um, is the community built around it. IBM data scientists pick, cherry pick the best articles, the best notebooks, the best tutorials, and the best data sets they find on the internet and share them with a Watson Studio community. So if you want to explore more, I encourage you to click this explore button to see what is being shared and what our data scientists are looking at today. Now there are some helpful links here. You have your documentation for Watson Studio and IBM Cloud. You have discussion forums. You have a blog just to see the new updates. And then if you have any ideas of, of improving the platform or you have <laughs> suggestions for how the, how, yeah, suggestions on how to improve, improve the platform, please share those with us here in the Got Ideas. Okay. Well, that gives you a really high level overview of Watson Studio. And next, we're going to create a new project and we're going to explore some data using Data Refinery to, visual, to visualize uh, employee attrition data before we start to build our custom model. Thanks for listening. I'm Justin McCoy, a developer advocate here at IBM, here to help you or your company jumpstart your next project in data science, machine learning, or deep learning. Let's build something.